Олег, дай запивон. What's good guys, I hope you did enjoy this little parody made in my flat with one source of light and using a vape as a fog machine. Let's break it down so you can have a better understanding of how to shoot such videos on a budget. First of all, big shout out to one of my favorite YouTube creators, Peter Lindgren, who inspired me to do this Russo Mexicano parody with some sunflower seeds and tequila. My friend Alex, who is the main character in this video, begged me to film such a video for himself after watching Peter's video and I simply could not say no. But I wanted to bring a little bit of comedy as well, having the baddest card combination of 2 and 7 and also the final phrase and sunflower seeds as an attribute. Let's watch the original video and the parody side by side and then break down the setup, camera settings, post-processing workflow and some life hacks for such videos. So let's start with the lighting setup, it's pretty straightforward. I had my Godox VL150 COB light with 90cm softbox with a grid and also it's on a C stand hanging directly above the table giving very soft but dramatic lighting to Alex's face. Of course we added a bit of ambient fog, but since I don't own a good old fog machine, we used the vape borrowed from my neighbor. It's not the best solution, but it's getting the job done and afterwards I had to open the windows for the whole night. And also it was too strong for Alex and he certainly didn't like to inhale it. Wow. Smoking is bad, don't forget it. In terms of camera, I used my Sony a7S III in 4K 120 frames per second and the project is set to 24p. So we can slow down the clips to 20% for very nice slow motion. I used only two lenses, Sony 35mm f1.8 for those three shots when I needed a bit tighter look and Tamron 17-28 f2.8 at about 22mm to mimic the 24mm look considering 1.1x crop in 4K 120. I always shoot in S-Log3, I have a video tutorial about my full workflow with it, I'll leave a link down below, and also I used Atomos Ninja 5 monitor to preview my S-Log3 LUT and also to add some weight to the camera so there is less micro jitters because of handheld shooting. 99% of the time I used manual focus and focus picking, just keeping the right distance from the subject to stay in focus. Hit the like button if you also do shoot with manual focus for special purposes even though your camera has awesome AF. By the way, Sony a7S III has the second native ISO at 12800 in S-Log3 and I was using it to set the top light brightness to about 15 or 25% because I didn't want too much light to bounce off Alex and the table and hit the white wall behind him. And of course the shutter speed was 1 over 250 to match the frame rate perfectly. Most of the shots are shot at f2.8. The main thing is to talk to the talent and to rehearse a bit before you make a certain shot, so your movements are in sync and since Alex took part in any shoot for the first time in his life, I think it's pretty easy to do with any talent. About 30% of the shots are shot from the very first take, by the way. When we jump into post-processing, the first thing I do is choose the good takes only, color grade those quickly to have better understanding of the image and then start cutting to the music and adding speed ramps. In Final Cut it's pretty easy to do, you choose the right place for speed ramp to start hit shift B, then slow down the needed part, then choose the end point and hit the shift B again, and adjust the speed transition by dragging those gray bars. And one more important factor is sound design. I cheated a bit to be honest, I simply left the original Peter's sound design and I just added the sound of swallowing and a crunchy sound for sunflower seeds. 
There is a ton of free sound effects databases, uh, or you can record your own, so I don't think finding the right one will be an issue for you. The goal is to mix the loudness of the music and the sound effects in the right way, so they add to the story but not distract, and you have to use your best headphones for it. And that's it. Nothing too crazy, as you can see. There is an unlimited creative space in front of you to play around with this technique. So enjoy! I hope you did enjoy this video, here are a couple of videos for you to watch next. My name is Oleg Nikitin, No Limits On channel. See you guys in the next video. Take care, bye! Oleg, give me a